Today in the Lawson Computer Science Building, Brian Lamb, the inventor of C-SPAN, gave a lecture to the students of Purdue as well as members of the community. Um, so we talked a lot about today about, um, I guess, the differences between social media and traditional media. And you yourself said that you don't really use Twitter and Facebook. Um, I guess, how would you suggest to students to get their news? Would you, would you recommend that they stick to the traditional form, or how would you? I would recommend that you don't rely on any one thing. Okay. And that's, I, say, I can say that to myself, right? I, I will eventually need to figure out a way to look in on Twitter without necessarily tweeting. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I'm surrounded by people that are doing it all the time, so if there's something that happens, they can usually talk about it or pass it on. Uh, but I, I think the, 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 your best bet in life is to make sure you don't end up only reading about an, an issue from one side. Okay. But you keep looking for more than one side to an issue just so that you can have some balance in your own thing. He yeah, has a lot to offer, a lot of experience in politics, and being a political science student is definitely very interesting to see what he had to say. And it's also interesting to get C-SPAN's story because I feel like students are kind of disconnected from that kind of type of network and don't really interest themselves in, in watching something like that. And being able to hear what exactly C-SPAN has to offer and what it's about is definitely a very interesting thing to witness and get connected to because it does offer the American public a lot of truth about the government and a lot of facts that are definitely necessary to know.